And if you know anything about coconut oil, you know that when you take it out, it's hard like lard. But this is coconut oil, right? So what I'm gonna do is, as you know, we're gonna let our coconut oil melt. Because you know when you cook, as I said, when you cook curry, and I encourage this all the time, when you cook curry, you wanna make sure that your curry is actually cooked, right? So this is our curry. We put it in and we're gonna make sure we burn our curry. And that's good for your belly, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna get that uh, runny. You don't wanna get the runnies when you make your dish, right? So we do our curry and we're gonna let it burn. Our coconut oil is very hot. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some onions, some green pepper, garlic, thyme, scallion, and some carrots. We're gonna add that in and we're gonna just saute. We're gonna saute all that for a bite. So I'm gonna leave a detail list of ingredients in the description box. I'm gonna leave a recipe so you can follow. But we saute our onion, red onion, white onion, green pepper, carrot, scallion, thyme, garlic. We're gonna put a little bit of scotch bonnet at the end. And we're gonna put some uh, tomatoes. We're gonna put plenty of tomatoes because the tomato is gonna be the basis so the tomato is gonna be the basis of our sauce. It's what's gonna give it the consistency and it's what's gonna pull the vibe together, right? We're gonna add some fresh coconut milk at the end and that's what we're gonna use to give it that vibe. We're gonna add some white bean and we're gonna add our okra. And you know, we won't add our okra because we don't want him to like overcook. So even though the dish is about the okra, we won't add the okra until the end. Crazy Chef, big vibe. If you like the video, hit that like button. I hope we can get a thousand likes on this video, guys. We want a thousand likes. I guarantee you, you'll love this dish, right? I'm gonna add, right? Usually when I make ital, I don't put seasoning, but for this dish, I'm gonna add some all-purpose seasoning, just for a vibe. So just a little all-purpose seasoning. So just for this dish, because we want it to taste beautiful. So we're gonna add some all-purpose seasoning. Ah, so now we're good, right? Look at that, that's all. Nice to cook my tomatoes are breaking down. I'm gonna add some vegetable stock to this dish, right? So put some vegetable stock in there. Right? So I added some vegetable stock and we're gonna let this boil, right? Then I'm gonna add okay, so now we're gonna add some white beans. Right. Now we just added some white beans and we're gonna keep simmering. I'm gonna add some corn. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Now about, I'm gonna add some roasted corn and some white yam. Look at that. So that's my roasted corn. So what I do is I take my white yam I blanched it, then I put it in my air fryer and I roast it. Look how beautiful that is. Come on. You add your fresh coconut milk and you give it a nice little stir. Look how beautiful and delicious that looks, right? That looks good. 
with the fresh coconut you got your white beans so the only thing missing now right is our okra so now we're gonna add our okra so now we have our okra so this is our curried okra as i said and i taught this every time i make an idol stew i tell you the same thing like i'm not vegetarian i'm not an idolist my dad is vegetarian my dad's an idolist right so my dad's vegetarian my dad's an idolist right me personally i'm not a vegetarian so if you want to make this dish right super super good if you don't want to have it all vegetable all you gotta do you can add some salted cod or you can add some uh i'm gonna add some pimento to the dish right i crushed some up and i left some whole just because that's just my vibe right so if you don't want to make this dish all idle or all vegetarian you can add some shrimp to it you can add lobster to this dish right there's so much ways you can mess with this dish right you can add shrimp to it you can add, i wouldn't add chicken i wouldn't mess up a good dish like this with some chicken personally that's just me but uh, you could add some shrimp you could add crabs to it right so you can add crab add shrimp add lobster you could add some salted cod and you just make the dish better but look at this dish right look how beautiful this dish look i'll try it mm. oh. Oh. so for the final part of the vibe right we're just gonna add some scotch bonnet some diced up scotch bonnet let that rip turn the flame off and look at that look how beautiful that looks look at that oh oh 